Serena Onan's 16th birthday present was a trip to space camp. She wanted to be an astronaut even then, but when she was assigned as her team's medical officer, she didn't know how prophetic it would be. I remember it distinctly confirming for me, this is what I wanted to be. No question. This is what I wanted to be. Um, not, again, not any particular path, like would I be an engineer, would I be a physician, would I be this, would I be that. Just, this was my end goal. It reaffirmed this is what I was supposed to do. Just a feeling. It was a feeling. It totally reaffirmed that. 25 years later, Dr. Serena Onan Chancellor is getting ready to launch to the International Space Station. Her assignment? Expedition 5859's medical officer. She's here tonight, flying from Star City, Russia, where she's training on the Russian Soyuz systems and the Russian segment of the ISS. She's scheduled for launch in November 2018. Serena first wanted to be an engineer like her father, but midway through undergrad at George Washington University, Serena took her friend's advice and added pre-med to her electrical engineering major. She was good with engineering, but she said something just clicked with medicine. But Serena never lost sight of space. She earned her MD in internal and aerospace medicine at the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, leading to an aerospace medicine clerkship at Johnson. After her residency at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston, Serena became a flight surgeon for astronauts and cosmonauts in Houston and Star City. But working as a flight surgeon for spacefarers wasn't the end of the road. Serena wanted to be one herself. And a lot of people say that the journey along the way is the best part in getting to your end destination. And it really has been because I absolutely love um, being a doctor. Uh, but at the same time, since I was little, I've always wanted to be up there, I've always wanted to be in space. In 2009, she was selected from more than 3,500 applicants as one of 14 astronaut candidates along with fellow Space Camp alumna, Dr. Kate Rubens. Serena's NASA career has been varied. She searched for meteorites in Antarctica, living 200 nautical miles from the South Pole. In 2012, she operated the Deep Worker Submersible for the NEMO 16 mission with fellow Space Camp alumna Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger aboard. Then, she served as an aquanaut aboard the Aquarius Underwater Laboratory for NEMO 20's undersea exploration mission. Now, she's preparing for her own journey to space. She's looking forward to seeing how her own body reacts to microgravity, and she's excited about the science experiments she'll do in space. Another astronaut who is excited to see Serena reach space is Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger, Serena's former teammate and fellow Space Camp Hall of Famer. She's a super talented physician and doctor, but also she's able to talk to community members about the intricacies of space, and then she can turn around and have a lot of fun with kids. And I think that's really important as you're trying to share this piece of space with so many people. I'm so excited that Serena is getting this honor. It's very well deserved, and I'm more excited to see her fly in space. It's coming very soon, and all of us will share the enthusiasm while she's on the International Space Station.